I want to start out by asking you, Gary, why did you write this book and what prompted you to write it now? We started about six or seven years ago and uh, I've known Brett for a long time. I've known him since he was a little boy. And um, I, I really didn't have any interest in writing a book or uh, talking about this story much at all. But um, my kids, uh, Chad and Katie, they uh, were always encouraging me to do something to tell the story, tell the true story. When you say the story, define the story. It's a story about a bad investigation that just went wrong in every possible way you can conceive. Instead of an investigation like it should have been, a police investigation, it became a soap opera. What we're talking about is the disappearance and then ultimately the murder of Chandra Levy. You had a relationship with Chandra Levy, correct? You knew her. I knew her, yes. Describe your relationship with her. She came to the office periodically and we became friends. How did that. you get to know her? How did you meet her? She came by the office, her and Jennifer Baker. And, you know, some people think this is, I mean, they think there's something strange about it. There's nothing strange about this. If you came to my office, to my congressional office, and particularly if you came from California, just like you do when people come to your show, we rolled out the red carpet. So everybody gets that routine. But her and Jennifer showed up. They came in and they were introduced. Uh, we took photos just like we did with everyone else. Uh, we had a brief discussion. Everyone that comes in that's uh, from my district or from California, I give them a phone number and say, if you need anything, call us and let us know. And we do it. Mm -hmm. And, and that, that was constituent service. We did that. But your friendship developed from there. Yeah, she came by, she came by periodically. She um, contacted me and asked that, uh, you know, for assistance and stuff. And I want to make something clear. Chandra did not work for me. She worked for the Prison Bureau. She was an intern and then ultimately became an employee of the Prison Bureau. You developed a friendship with her and you saw her outside the office, correct? I saw her one time. I'm oh, sorry? I saw her one time outside the office at, at a restaurant and she came by my condo uh -huh. once. You came by your condo once? Well, maybe twice. Yeah, I think it was twice she came by. Okay. But so, once again, I, I, I want to make this clear. There's nothing unusual about someone coming by my condo. A lot of people did. So, you know, people have made some, some speculation about that being something special, but, I, I, you know. Well, were the police making something out of that? Trying well, to? Well, you're trying to, absolutely, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, well, they were trying to make something out of everything they could, but certainly. Okay. What were they trying to make out of that? What were they implying? That there, there was something more, much more involved than her dropping by my condo a couple times. And, and both times she had a valid reason to come by, so. And this was their theory of you being involved in her disappearance in some way? Yeah, they made a big leap that, you know, because we were friends, because she'd come by the condo, that I must have something to do with this. You, you say in your book that she had come by a handful of times. Yeah, I, I mean, I said a handful of times. It could have been four times, could have been five times, but I don't, I mean, I remember the two times she came by and the reason she came by. She might have come by more. I, I mean, I'm unaware of that. I mean, if she did, yeah. Well. Um, that's what you say in the book, correct? Yeah, it's true. And um, each of those times is addressed in the book, uh, as is how Gary addressed the question you just asked in terms of what his, the extent of the relationship he had with her was addressed with law enforcement from day one. There was nothing withheld. And in the book, we have to deal with the same question, the same discussion we're having now, which is where do you draw the line on relevance? And where Gary drew that line was he gave law enforcement everything law enforcement needed.